Another story uh, today is that the House Intelligence Committee has put together a report, uh, a memo rather, suggesting that the FBI may have relied on politically motivated or questionable sources to justify uh, one of those early requests for secret surveillance warrant uh, in the Russia investigation. And, you know, the, this is obviously something the House Committee is going to have to decide in the next couple of hours. But should that memo be publicly released? Do you think the public deserves the right to see it? And do you think it should necessitate any further changes uh, in the leadership of the FBI and the DOJ? So when it comes to the FBI, let me make very clear, the president went to Quantico, I believe it was in December, and he has great respect, as he has said, for the rank and file. I think there are about 25,000 or so employees yeah. at the FBI. You're talking about a few people who are in charge of investigation and what we see that's been made public. I don't have any special knowledge, obviously, on that. We see what's been made public. Some, some very disturbing uh, statements about the now president. Um, we expect people have political points of view. They support who they support in the ballot box. Some of them gave money, one, at least one attended. Um, the president's political opponent's victory party uh, on election night, non-victory party, I suppose. But, but uh, that that aside, uh, we we believe in transparency and accountability. So mm -hmm. this president would err on the side of transparency, and I, I hope Phil so would the legion of people, including in the media, who have been covering Russia and the investigation for over a year now. Yeah. And the president has made very clear that there's no collusion. There's, there's absolutely no collusion. He calls it a hoax, um, an excuse for losing an election. But more importantly, it's the transparency and accountability piece of this, that if those who are in charge of this memo, and I've not seen it, obviously, those who are in charge of that feel that it is ready to be released to the public, I'm not sure what would need to be redacted or not, then they should make that decision. Mm -hmm. And to pick up on that point, does the president think that, that uh, the messages that you're talking about, is that evidence that the law enforcement community was working against his campaign? Well, the law or, enforcement or trying community to is a very from... large group of people. We should never generalize as such. And as I say, it's what, what's been revealed now mm -hmm. after the fact. And ironically, I guess through the course of an investigation that was really targeted at him and his campaign, uh, of which I was the manager for the winning part, and I can tell you that the idea that I would ever have to go um, to Moscow rather than Mecklenburg County, North Carolina, or Macomb County, Michigan, to help guide the campaign um, is foolish, and I don't know why anybody would think otherwise. So it, it's meaning think that you would have to do that otherwise. But on this on this particular on this particular discrete matter. Yeah. Let's let the committees decide what they think is best based on what they know. This is a president who's talked about a pro prosperity, security, transparency, and accountability being his three top priorities. And he will talk about those tomorrow night in the State of the Union. In fact, he'll talk about a safe, strong, proud American. I think the word proud is very important too, because whether it's this president Try telling the country to dignify all career types, to have invested millions of dollars through the Department of Labor into skills training so that we are not as a nation telling everybody you must go to a four-year college, you must get a degree, a four-year college degree, where we hear from employers and governors from both sides of the aisle all the time that there is a labor shortage supply, with carpenters, welders, um, the folks I grew up with in South Jersey, I grew up outside of Camden and Philadelphia, most people I graduated with went for a skill certificate and were able to support themselves the next day, uh, practically. And so this is somebody who's trying to say to America, be proud regardless of what your, your choice of career or yeah. job is. Um, be, we, we want to find things that bind us together as a nation. And, and he will talk about that in tomorrow's State of the Union.